Recently, I did a video on a new feature coming to Pac-Man in version 6.0, which is going to be parallel downloads. So unlike the way that it works now, where if you have, say, 100 packages you want to download, you download them one by one by one by one. In the case of parallel downloads, you'll be able to download multiple things at the exact same time. And this should potentially allow you to download stuff way quicker. However, this package manager update is still in alpha. Now, I wouldn't recommend running an alpha package manager, at least on your main system. If you want to do it in, say, a VM or a secondary system, that's going to be fine. But on a system where you're trying to get real work done, don't run an alpha package manager. But that doesn't mean that we can't take advantage of parallel downloads today because there's an application that exists called PowerPill. So PowerPill, like Yay, is just a wrapper around Pac-Man that's going to add some extra features and the options for it are exactly the same as using Pac-Man. So today, we're going to test PowerPill out and see if it's actually going to be faster than just doing sequential downloads. Now, before we get into the test itself, here is the connection speed I'm working with. So I've got roughly 50 down. Sometimes it goes a little bit above that, but it's basically 50 down. So how fast this is going to be is going to depend very heavily on your connection speed. So what I've heard is that parallel downloads are going to be more effective when your speed is lower. But it still will have an effect with a connection like mine. The way we're going to test this is going to be really simple. So the first thing we're going to do is go and make sure our Pac-Man cache is cleared. And we're going to do this between each of the tests. The reason why we're clearing our Pac-Man cache is just to make sure that we don't have, you know, some of the things we're trying to download already cached in a previous download or in the second test that everything isn't already cached, which is going to make everything install basically instantly. So let's go and clear that out. And what we're going to do now is actually go and install GNOME. So the reason why we're going with GNOME is because GNOME has a ton of dependencies and having more things to download obviously should make the parallel downloads work better. So I'm going to have them both going on on the screen at the same time. So have fun watching that. So I went back and looked at the results for that. Ignore the fact that my camera looks completely different and I'm wearing a different shirt. I actually made a mistake in the original recording. So anyway, I looked at the results for that and it looks like they ended at literally the exact same time. Which is really weird because I would have assumed that there would be, you know, a massive, massive performance gain for the parallel side. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that this isn't going to be implemented the exact same way as it is going to be in Pac-Man. This is a third-party application. And secondly, when it does come out with Pac-Man, you're going to be able to modify the number of streams you actually use, which should change how well it actually performs. But in this case, it seems like running PowerPill is basically going to do nothing. So we're going to try that again, but this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. So this time what we're going to do, is instead of having a bunch of little packages, we're just going to install two really big packages. So I'm going to install Firefox and Chromium. I guess I could have some other big ones in there as well, but, but when I was doing this off camera, I did notice somewhat of an improvement when I did do it like this. So once again, the same rules will apply. I'll clear my cache and then we'll go from there. Now, looking back at the results for that one, it seems like we had a pretty noticeable downgrade. I haven't checked the exact number, but it looks like it was about 
9 to 10 seconds slower. So it seems like with a small number of very large packages, it's not just necessarily the same. You might actually see a downgrade in your performance. Now, keep in mind that this isn't exactly how it's going to be implemented inside of Pac-Man. This is a third-party application, but it is definitely something to think about and to try out when it does make it to the main application. Now, one thing to note about Arch and downloading anything with Pac-Man is that it will not go and reorder your mirrors for you. So before you go and download anything like Power Pill to try to address any download issues, make sure that you go and reorder your mirrors. I did a video months ago about Reflector, which is an application which automatically does this for you. And you can say, I want to order them by most recently updated or fastest or closest and do that before you do anything else, because that will be the thing that drastically increases your speed before anything else. And then obviously, once you have reordered your mirrors, make sure that you redo your test to actually see if it has addressed the issues. If it hasn't addressed the issues, then you might want to look into something else. Another thing you can go and do to address your download speed is to go and change your Pac-Man downloader command. So on the Arch Linux Wiki, this is explained. It's fairly straightforward to do. Basically, inside of the Pac-Man conf, you can modify an option called xfer command, and then you can use things like, say, wget or aria2, and aria2 is what's actually being used in the background in PowerPill. So aria2 is a parallel downloading utility. However, if you do go and switch over to aria2, that won't make Pac-Man download in parallel because it's still going to execute the command sequentially. Now, I am still excited for Pac-Man 6.0 because if there was no reason to go and do this, then there would be no reason for the Pac-Man developer to actually go and work on this feature. So when Pac-Man 6.0 drops, I will be testing it so we can see if it actually is better than Power Pill. But once Power but once that does come out, Power Pill will have literally no purpose. But you know what doesn't have no purpose? Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run on Linode. They have the distros you'd expect available, like Ubuntu and Debian, but also Arch and Gentoo, because why not? They've got multiple server plans available, so whether you want to host a blog or a personal VPN, you know there's going to be one that fits you. Going forward, I'll be using Linode to host all of my community game nights. If you need help, Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone, regardless of your plan size. So right now, you guys can get started on Linode with $100 credit by going to the link on screen or in the description down below. Linode was in the game three years before Amazon entered cloud computing, so you know they know their stuff. A huge thank you to Linode for sponsoring the channel. So thank you guys for watching. Before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Chris, Joachim, Donald, Michael, Andre, Nathan, David, uh, Montezar, Will, Chuka, Bento, Joseph, Mitchell, Peter D, Tony, Tushar, and all of my $2 supporters. If you'd like to go to my work, them links down below to my Patreon, subscribe, star, leave and pay, all of that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over Tea, available basically anywhere. And then this channel is available on Library, Odyssey, and BitChute. If you want to, if you want to watch it on a platform that isn't YouTube, I'm not going to cut that. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.